All right, in this video, we're going to start setting up our site. Now, I clicked the link that it sent me so that we're able to start working on the site. Now, just to have a little tour around here, over here we have uh, a little bar here. We have content. When you click on that, it brings up some things here. You can do text, logos, and so on and so on. Okay, we'll go through these a little bit later. Background, okay, which is here. You can choose different backgrounds set the colors, move them around, and so on. We have sections. Okay, so a profile, social, blog, and message me. Settings, where we can do some other settings here. And reports. These give you some basic reports, visitors, messages, and customers. Okay, so now down here, we can preview, preview the site as web, mobile, and Facebook. And then down here, this is where we publish it. Once we publish it, it's available to be seen by the world. So we would do that when we're all done. Okay, so let's just do a quick look at it. If we do mobile, here's what the mobile view would look like. Okay, so it automatically sets up a mobile view for you with no extra work. So this is really nice that you get a mobile site so people that are visiting by mobile phone can see what it looks like as well without you having to do any extra work. And then we can preview it. Let's pre preview it as web. Okay, so this is what it would look like from a normal browser. And then if we go, we can preview Facebook. Okay, and then of course you have to give Facebook permission to publish the page in Facebook. So this is another nice thing that you get with the Infinitely site. Okay, I'm going to back up here. Okay, so as you can see, for a free platform you're getting a lot of features. Okay, so now we're going to start doing some setup. So let's go through a few design cues here. Now, you'll see when I move my mouse around, it picks up which widget I'm on. Okay, and then depending on what I'm on, it'll give me some options. So if we go, for instance, right here, this is right now the title of my site. So if I double click, I can edit the text in this widget. And you'll see it's over here and it's in white. Okay, so now I can use the standard alignment tool, so if I want to make it centered, I could do that. And if I want to change the S to a capital S, like so. And then, of course, I can change the colors and so on as well. I just highlight this, and then I can go into the color palette here, and I could change the color if I wanted to. Okay, so this is just kind of a standard little editor here. You can change the size and the font here. Okay, you got the usual bold italic and underline. So it's just your usual things there. So if I click Save now, let's move this over here. Let's go in again. New Samsung. save. Okay, so that gives us an easy way to tell what our page is about. Now, this is your location widget. If I want to get rid of this, I can just delete and just click on it and then I can just click delete all. Okay, and that takes a location widget off, which I do not want on my site. But if you did, that's fine, you could leave it there. But that's how you manipulate things. Now, if we go down here, we have our Twitter and our Facebook. And if we click on this, it brings up the infinitely Facebook page. Okay, now same, if we click on the Twitter here, it brings up infinitely's 
Twitter page. So if you're going to keep these here, what you want to do, you'll see that when I clicked on this, it brought up a little palette over here. So we can configure, we can duplicate, bring forward and send back. Okay, so you can have stacked widgets. So if we go in here to configure, so we could go Twitter, and then we can put in our Twitter link here. Okay, so we put our Twitter nickname in here, and presumably whatever your blog is or your site is about that you're creating, you would have a Twitter feed for that particular site. Now, if it's just a personal site, it can just be your personal Twitter account, however you want to do it. Okay, and then same with Facebook here. You would just do the same thing. Change the, the nickname here for your Facebook page or your login. Okay, and then same with other. We got Flickr, Tumblr, Goilia, YouTube, Foursquare, and Google+. So you can put all of these social networks along here. And that's how easy it is to configure them. Okay, and then if you want to delete them, you just hit the little X here. And then confirm. And they're gone. Now, of course, it is a good idea to have links to your social networks here. Now, if we don't want the widget, we can just delete the widget. And away she goes. Okay, so that's just how you can manipulate the particular widgets, how you can add them, set them up, and so on. They all work basically the same. Down here we have our new stream. Okay, now if we double click here, we can change the text on the new stream, just like before. Now when we click on here, again, we get our configuration, duplicate, move to the front, and move backwards. Okay, and then we can come in here and pick where we want our news feeds to come from. So right now we have our Twitter coming from the sample tweets. So we could put our Twitter account in here and it would bring in all of our tweets. Okay, and then similarly we have Tumblr. Okay, we put in our Tumblr, Vimeo, Flickr, YouTube, and Twitter search. Okay, so we can, and of course, a regular RSS feed we could also bring in here. Now, I'm going to delete the Twitter feed here, and I'm going to bring in a news feed that has something to do with my topic. So I want to find a news feed on the Samsung Galaxy S3, for instance. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to find an RSS feed for this. Okay, so I have Samsung Galaxy S3 News, and I can go and find a news source here and pick up the RSS feed. Okay, so for instance, I'm going to go into this first one here. Now, if I roll down here, you'll see down here there's an RSS. If I click on that, I can then do a copy in the browser bar up here to grab the URL. And now I can put in the RSS into here. And let's click OK. See if this works in this particular case. OK, and there is our news feed. OK, and then of course a good thing to do here might be to change the name of it. Call it Galaxy S3 News. Okay. 
All right, now that's how we can use that one. And then down here we have our blog. We'll get back to that in a minute. Now, that's a little bit of manipulation what was already on the page, but maybe we want to use our own logo up here instead of using this. Okay, so what we can do, we go to content now, and I briefly touched on this before, these are our content widgets. So we can create a text block, we can bring in a logo for our brand, and it says GIF or PNG image. A customizable line, we can bring in a rectangle, circle, a star, starburst. There's our blog. We've already got a blog block on here. We can bring in a photograph. We can bring in video from YouTube or Vimeo, other video providers. Here we can bring in a stream from social networks, and we've already done that there. Contact form. That's just a base contact form so people can contact you. Now here, this is a premium wizard widget so it's only available if you paid for one of the paid options okay so this adds okay so it's a sign up form that people can add to your database we have text tabs it's an editable block of longer text that supports multiple tabs we have a gallery we can bring in a gallery okay again this is a premium widget, the calendar, a PayPal donate button, links to other sites, share, so share Facebook like tweets, okay, and we already have that one over here, Facebook comments, so that's a stream from Facebook, a map of where we are, and custom HTML, again that is one that is a premium feature. Okay, so back to this, Let's say that we want to bring in a custom logo. We're going to create our own logo and we want to bring it in here instead of using this. Then we could use the logo button here. So let's click on that. And then we can drag this around to wherever we want it. Okay, so. Bring this up here. And then we have the same things. We have our configure, send to the front, send to the back, and then we can duplicate it. Okay, so we can do set here, and then we would choose from our computer the logo we want to use. Okay, so I created a quick little kind of a crappy one, but I created a quick one just to show you here. So I'll click choose, and then I'll grab it off my computer. So down here, I'm going to go to Choose File. All right, now I'll grab it off my computer here. And we'll upload. And here is my logo. We've got a window down here. Let's close that. Okay, and then I can put my mouse on it. And I can move it around. Now you see that it is in front of this one. Now remember here we have we have bring forward and send backward. So if I click send backward okay now the text is on top of it. So we bring it forward again there it is on top of the text. Okay so that's what that send forward or bring forward and send backward do. Okay, so let's just stick this here for now. Now, let's get rid of this one. And then we can just, oops. And we can just delete this widget here. And then we can move this where we want it, whatever it is. Okay, so that's how we can use that one. Okay, we're going to continue with some more design in the next video.